Google Sheets could create an entire spreadsheet with just a text prompt. Here's a quick example, then I'll show you how to get it for yourself. All you have to do is put in a text prompt, create a monthly budget, make it as detailed as possible in this box here, press create, give it a second. And just like that, I got this template that is fully customizable. All I have to do is press insert and all this right here could be customizable. Now let me show you how to get this for yourself for your account if you don't have it just yet. And then I'll show you some other prompts that you'll find useful. If you go to labs.google right here, you'll see a lot of the AI experiments that Google is running right now. Like Google search, for example, also has one you could try out. But this one right here is inside of Google workspace and you could go ahead and join a waitlist. Now this is not available in every country. So go to this website and join the waitlist. As you could see, I'm already in. So I got this box right over here. They also have something else called Duet AI. This has the same functionality, but this requires you to go through an application process. This is really intended right now for bigger organizations and you will basically license per seat. But right now you could just go ahead and sign up for the one I just showed you from the Google Labs. Now, once you're in, you're going to get a bunch of different AI capabilities. They're going to be included in Google Sheets, Google Slides, even your Gmail is gonna have AI. And inside of a Google Sheet document, all you have to do is press right here, help me organize, you should see this icon as long as you have this option and you'll get this box that I showed you. So let me show you a couple of different prompts that you'll find useful. So this prompt, create a work expense report, create rows for each week and columns for 10 expenses. So you could get more detail like this. Now this really makes a template. It's not gonna yet know how to put specific numbers. So if you put that in your prompt, it's not gonna know exactly how to do that just yet. And it's gonna tell you right here why that is. This is again, I'm making this while it's in beta. Once it's out of beta, it should be a lot more useful but this has really saved me a ton of time just creating these templates right here. So I don't have to create these from scratch. So every time now that I'm creating spreadsheets, I go ahead and create a text prompt. I create the spreadsheet, then I edit it based on the numbers and the rows and columns I want. But as you can see right here, I got this report. I could go ahead and see the weeks here, the expenses, and it put just placeholder text here and I could go ahead and edit one of these. Now you could actually alter these two. So let me show you one more prompt. And as long as you don't press insert, you could just overwrite it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this one instead, create a table to keep track of attendance. Then I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit. So right here, it just gave me names, dates, status, absent or present, reason, and so on. But let's say this is for a teacher and is for a class with 20 students. So I'm gonna say I need 20 rows and I'm gonna press create. I didn't press insert just yet. So this time you could actually, before you press insert, optimize this prompt here to be more like what you want out of this template. And there we go. Now we got 20 rows and we got check boxes. I could alter this or I could just press insert. Now it's inserted into my sheet. I could go ahead and title my spreadsheet here and I could alter this template with the real names. And here's a prompt for creating agendas. Create an agenda for a one day business event, includes session, description, and status. I'll press create here. These are really useful for basically creating scheduled templates that you could alter very quickly. And here we go. We got our time here for the day. So we started at 8.30 a.m., went to three. Again, you could insert rows. You could go ahead and insert columns if you need to. And here's all the different placeholders here that I asked for and I could go ahead on the bottom and press insert here and I'm ready to make any edits by just double clicking any of these rows, any of these cells and it works just like any other Google spreadsheet document. And if you wanna stay ahead in all these updates that come out with AI, we have an entire learning platform with entire courses. So well beyond just simple tutorials like this one, complete courses to master chat GPT, mid journey and the top 20 AI tools. I'll link that below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.